Hi there guys, this is KaneFan701 here. It's been nearly seven days now since my dog Yogi passed away. The pain is still lingering within me still, but um, very strangely as it has been, the last two days apparently, the pain within me has somewhat strangely subsided, and um, I am coming to terms with grips that uh, he's no longer with me, but you know, for the first few nights to sleep without him out of my side, I had this strange idea thinking that he was there for me. And that perhaps, you know, he's still there somewhere. And, um, you know, his ghost spirit or whatever he is, is, is still around. I mean, everybody was devastated who, who knew my dog. Especially for those who are on YouTube and DeviantArt and some guys on Skype and everybody else. Um, they all sent me their condolences, and uh, two videos that were done were done by Michael and Fletcher, which who did uh, very very good, and I, I thank them very much for doing what they thought was the right thing to try and make me feel better, for understanding what I had gone through. And yeah, I still can't believe it though, how quick it all ended, you know. But I can tell you is that I am getting better, I am sort of trying to move on, which is never the case with me at times. But um, I'm doing very, very well and my mum and dad are very proud of how I've coped with it and even I question to myself, how do I do it? How do I get through these things, you know? You know, because an autism man like me shouldn't be able to. But strangely enough, with these I do it. You know, I I know for other people who have sent me their condolences on my Deering art, who have on my journal and also on the photo I did, they sent me their own condolences as well, and they told me that they lost their own pets, and some people had to put more than one dog down, and to me personally, that's double worse. Like, uh, you know, ugh. for those of you who who did all that, sending all their condolences to me onto um, Deering art and everything else. I want to thank you guys a lot, because you guys mean the best. You mean so much to me right here, and you've earned a special place within me. For those of you who don't know me, I also want to thank you guys as well for sending your condolences on my YouTube video, which I'm very grateful for. And um, To tell you the truth, when I did the video, I originally didn't want to do it because I didn't want to show my sad emotions on YouTube, because I'm basically very callistic about it, and... Uh, because I, I don't like to show my set expressions and if you want to know why it's because I fear I, um, I mean I, I fear that if I show my facial features of myself being upset or crying I feel like I'm gonna hurt somebody else I feel like that's more painful than what I'm doing I know this doesn't make too much sense but that's just me <sighs> in any cases though thank you so much for everything that you've done I'm trying to get around this and um, for the last couple of days I actually have reunited with some retro stuff from my past which sort of came out of the bloom, which sort of popped a bit of an old retro me and which sort of brought a smile back to my face in a way. And I've gone back to doing my um, Clinchfield 311 project which I know you guys are so anticipatingly awaiting and uh, I think you're going to think it's one of the best or perhaps will be the best because by the way how it is, it's a lot bigger, a lot longer. And of course, it'll be a greater story time than what I did with the Timothy movie. Not saying I'm comparing. But yeah, the script is coming along nicely, and uh, the casting is still very hard because I'm replacing guys who didn't want to do it and uh, find better guys in. I'm still thinking about getting Thomas Edward Henry 1, 2, 3, uh, or Thomas 1, Edward 2, and Henry 3 in there because he damn well deserves to be in it. Because he proved himself in the last project. And of course, um, Enterprise Engine 93 is going to be in there too. He's going to be cast as Edward since he did a grand job of it in the uh, NWR Origin series, which I still watch to this day, which is a work of art. And um, there's going to be some more things you're going to might not be expecting in 311 uh, and other stuff. But um, yeah, just to let you know is that um. I'm still doing well, I'm still working on my other projects and if you were wondering, you know, after I lost my dog Yogi, was I going to cancel my projects? 
At first, I wanted to because I felt like there was nothing to do. I felt like there was nothing more for me to do anymore. I felt like it was over. An era had ended. I didn't really want to live anymore. It's not that I don't think suicidal. Don't get the wrong impression, guys. I'm not that type of guy. It's just that my soul was thinking that. Well, basically, my autism was thinking that, I guess. But, um, yeah. It was that bad when I, for the last few days. They were extremely awful. But I am coming to grips with it. And I'm doing so damn hard to show that I'm a very strong man and that I will live for my dog's sake. And I also believe that the fact that I think his spirit apparently transferred from his own body into my own to make me a that strong man. Yeah. I miss Yogi so much. I'm going to miss all the good times I had with him. Because normally he would be sitting right here with me right where my bed is and of course you could, you would actually would hear him being barking in the background or you could hear him tiptoeing across the wooden floor. That was to let you know that he was there. I wonder where he is right wherever he is right now, I'm pretty sure he's listening in. I miss him so much, man. That's a little bit update I needed to give you guys. I'm still alive, I'm still kicking strong, I'm doing what I can to be a better man. But I don't think I'm the same Kane Fan 701 man that I used to be anymore. And I know some guys you might be thinking, why am I not gonna be so responding as much? Is because you know, in life we all change. We know we change our personalities, we change of who we are on the inside, on the outside. <sighs> yeah, so a great deal of me is happening as we speak. Again, thank you for sending your condolences. I couldn't have had such good friends and fans and supporters and also an awesome family. Thank you very much, guys. You deserved it, man. Well done, lads. So, until the next time, this is KaneFan701. Have a nice week and enjoy the next week or the next week that's coming up. And for those of you who are having a good summer, I wish you all the best, including you guys up there in America as well. And um, and I know this has been a week for me now, but I wish you guys, I hope you guys had a brilliant Fourth of July because um, just to let you on a little secret, a couple of years back in 2012, I was in America and uh, you could say, you know, despite the fact I'm British, I actually celebrated that day. And um, ironically, it's in these exact same clothing that I was wearing on that day, just without my shaders. And, um, yeah, that was awesome, you know. But that was way, that was a long time ago, way back then at the time. But, yeah, that was pretty a good memory I can look back on with pride. In any cases, uh, there will be some more, um, not ghost stories, but... I'll only tell you this little secret I'm doing is that I'm working on another project and one thing I can tell you is that it's not ghost related at all. For those of you who know me on my DeviantArt as Kane Take a Fan 701, I think the answer will lie in there when I upload a new story. And yes, Shine Alters will be helping me out. I think Thomas Fan Forever will be in there too. And some other guys that will be involved in this and um, I can assure you you're gonna love it. Especially when the 311 comes out. I'm not sure about the date line, but um, we're going to try and aim it to come out this Halloween, or maybe the next year Halloween, I guess, because um, I don't know. But that's what we're doing at the moment. It's a very big project and it's very hard, but uh, when you guys see it in all the parts, you will definitely know that it was worth a long wait. So for those of you, you've got to wait patiently. You have to wait patiently. Because that's what happens when you're expecting something. You know, one of my friends have told me who has had his own problems. But anyways, um, yeah, that was your update for you guys. KaneFan701 here. Enjoy next week for you guys in Britain as well as you guys in the United States. Stay strong. Live on proud with the pride of your heritage and your nation. God bless you all. And we'll see you next time.